Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcome you right back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2. This is episode 32. In the last episode, we did some more of the trial where Mikan eventually ended up to be the one who was to blame uh, for the killings. But she's so meek, so helpful, so nice. She's one of the nicest characters of the group. Could she really kill two people? Let's keep going. But I'm really, really not the killer. Really true. Stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop! I don't want to do this either! Of course I don't want to do this! But I need to do this! You, you doubt your friends? That's not it! I suspect them because I want to believe them! What, what the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? I do doubt her. But I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Cause... If there's no room for doubt... Then there's no reason to believe. Is there? D don't say deep stuff. I... Don't really get it. If you want to believe in someone... You need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt... Is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Huh? Is that all you can say? Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. It's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done! Hey, hey, Mika. It's not fair. It's not fair. 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 Why won't you forgive me? You forgive yourself right away! What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Is acting like this your strategy now? This is annoying. Plus, to be honest, I've run out of ideas. How can we get you to admit it? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. But still, the truth is one of us murdered two of our friends. That's why. We gotta stick with this until the very end. So we can finally break these chains of despair. Hey Mikan, can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me! Can you prove it? P prove it? Wait! Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? Ah, that's right! Show me your proof! <laughs> because you're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room! Treating me like a killer based on an assumption! Because I was at the hospital! <laughs> That's totally crazy! Why did you make me wrong? Why does everybody always hate me? <sighs> Just forgive me already! Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable! <laughs> I'm not the killer! <laughs> She finally started arguing for us. But the only one who can find the hole in her argument is you, Hajime. So, I'm going to leave this to you once again. Could it be? Was this Chucky's goal all along? She's saying everyone's fate depends on me. The only person who saw that video. Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? 
I need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's going to finish this. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video. Oh, do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head for proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video. Oh, do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight, there's no way you'd be able to- So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody who could have filmed it. Huh? Do you have an is the hemp bag on her head? Is the hospital gown she was wearing? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different bo- Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candle? There's no way you be- So please forgive me! Hajime, pay close attention. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. We can't think of anybody else who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any Is the hunt bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan clearly have to- Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? I'll shoot through that contradiction! Mikan. You've committed a major mistake. M mistake As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? <laughs> the only reason Mikan knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Ah! Oh, are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? That's not it. I mean, it's impossible. You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? 
She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! Nocturne, no see? Well, not really. It's time for the third PTA. It's probably gonna be my last job doing a class trial. Please humor me while I turn to yours one last time. Start from this PTA, the reload and ammo features will be added. No longer be able to make do with just the X button. Below the tempo marker in the lower portion of the screen, the number of bullets are displayed. From this point on, you'll need one bullet to destroy one remark. When you're bullets, you won't be able to destroy remarks no matter how much you mash X. You'll be able to refresh your bullets by pressing square to reload. Just like locking on, press square in time with the tempo marker. Controls are the same as X. <laughs> square button. <laughs> number of bullets refreshed is based on how well you kept the tempo. Get the timing wrong when you press square. Bullets will not be refreshed, so please be careful. The ammo will be completely refreshed and will not, not run during free, fever time. Not run out. Difficult levels are gentle and don't need to reload. Guess a pretty useless explanation, even though it was the last one. That should be all the explanations for the class trial. The rest is up to you to overcome. You should be able to find it beyond this point. What you and I both yearn for. True despair. Good luck and have fun. I'll keep explaining it until you forgive me! <laughs> That's why that crime is impossible for anyone to pull off. This chick, has she lost it for good? Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? At this rate, we're not getting anywhere. I gotta do something and end this. I gotta do something so I can make her admit it. buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. Why? Why can't you forgive me? Why? It seems her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Nikon, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, 
Please, just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Yay, comic book time. Okay, here we go. What is on the man? Uh, um, I think actually we're going to get to use the first one on the first page. Uh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Uh, he's lagging it because he saw the video. Kill or do after the broadcast. Um, none of those. Okay, so a Buki, then he ran off to find people. When they came back, rip, rip piece on the button right then. Is it? Mm. Yeah, that that was there, but but yeah, yeah, okay. Um. Put it back to normal after destroying it. No, nothing to do with the surveillance camera there. Real lock room created, which isn't... Well, not glue exactly, is that supposed to symbolise? Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Last stock. Bloody quick, right? Uh, what did the killer do after the broadcast? Threw off the hemp bag, no, Monomy's tote bag. But yeah, because they made the video like that. Okay. Uh, the body was hidden before. It was hidden via that, the wallpaper. And finally, I think, put it back to normal after destroying it. What's left of the surveillance? That, yeah? Right, got it. Sorted. Bloody hell. Happened in this case. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music venue. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music venue, so I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time, when in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music room and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. 
In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko and They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. And they made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? have reached the conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go! I suppose we got that A rank considering uh, the logic dives and falling on them and everything like that. But, anyways, our ultimate noose is the killer. Now then, though it may be obvious at this point, we got it right once again. That's like three in a row. That's right, the true identity of the horrifying blackened who killed two girls was Mikan Tsumiki. Bet she was glad to be killing off the brat who kept calling her pig shit and everything. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. You saying, Mikan, the one who nursed us back to health, was the one who killed them? I Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? We planned to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> Don't just laugh. Say something. This is going nowhere. <laughs> What's going on? This chick. Hey. This is nothing like Peko. She's actually gone mental. There's nothing That's we can do. Obvious. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Huh? Based on my predictions, she might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. What? Mikan too, you say? I... I know, because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me, after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was... Full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Hold on. Did you say Mikan also had the despair disease? Then that means she was... What? Huh? Hajime has something crossed your mind? My body's heavy. No, not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. That's right, Mikan felt really hot at that time. Now that I think about it, that must have been a high fever, just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot then because be. of that disease, Mikan was... Perhaps. The symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name, despair disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> Which means that Mikan standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's inf infected by the despair disease. She's a human what? who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. 
ultimate to speed. That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope. There's no way I can forgive that. For the sake of despair? That's completely wrong. Wrong? Wrong? What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. Huh? Who are you talking about? If only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. I understand that I've done something unforgivable. But you know, but you know, to transcend all that is truly what love is all about. I don't understand what you're saying. You don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? What a pity. I feel sorry for you. Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but... Love is a wonderful thing. Ah, it's feeling a freedom where you no longer care about anything. My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil, and I'm just looking out through it. That's why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me, it's like nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love, only love. Nagato, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair. You're half right. I tried to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? Apparently that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease. But if this means she remembered something and ended up like this. She's saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to this island? Don't get so angry. Well, first of all, the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? Even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence. And it was also my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. That's the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Like I said, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> are you saying this is Mikan? She's the real Mikan? Mikan, please answer me. Did you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way the person you are right now is the real Mikan. Oh, you still doubt me? Then to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. It's about that World End organization that you all were worrying about. You, you know? <laughs> not now, not now. I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along, how that horrifying organization known as World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Future Foundation? Future? That's right, that symbol on the ancient, ru ancient ruins door. That's right, it was the Japanese word for future. Mirai. Hey. Just what is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? As the name suggests, that organization is the World Ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know. As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Isn't that right, Monomi? Huh? I knew it. Monomi, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? Monomi and I aren't members. I am Monokuma. My existence is entirely my own. <laughs> Don't laugh. Hey, Mikan, if you really do remember, then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. Of course I know that. Let's see. The future foundation lucky that's hiding among you all is. Oh well. No one really cares about that, don't you think? Oh hell no. You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be so impatient. Probably when that countdown ends. Countdown? You, you even know about that? Oh. I don't know anything. Hmm? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? 
I'm drowning in so much love. From the bottom of my heart, I just don't care about anyone or anything. Is Mikan, is this really you? <laughs> Excuse me. I, I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. You all, you were like this all along. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time up with up until now? The past. Past? That person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. You guys consider that thing a friend. That doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self. That's... Well, that applies to you all as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important component of building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us shadows of the past, don't you think? Hey. I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about our stolen school lives. Hey. So it was true all along. Our memories were taken away. It. If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering this much. Well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh, oh Monokuma! It's alright for you to start now. Yes, Punishment time? Damn it. Why? Mikan, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For the ultimate nurse, Mikan Tsumiki. So it's over. It's really... Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them. Please forgive me. The one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Where'd she go? <laughs> it's finished. Is it really finished? And again, she's one of the characters I really liked in the game. So that's two in one chapter down. <laughs> Bit gutted. The killer who killed Ibuki Miyoda and Hyoko Seonji was Mikan Tsumiki. And she's been executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me Who's ask. that Mikan from earlier? Was that a true form? Is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? Damn. It doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that just from remembering, then all along Mikan was never worth being a symbol of hope. Right. Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, if she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy, unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that so let's just right? move on. Come on. Let's take all this despair and change it into hope. That's impossible. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so. Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing up a showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice toward us. And now, there's no way we can just move on or try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it. it would have been so much easier if she was the traitor too. Wrong. Too bad, that's not the case. Mikam is not the traitor. The traitor is still alive. As proof, see how fine Monomi looks right now. I'm not fine at all. But if the traitor died, you won't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the Future Foundation, so you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? Does that make you, fiend? You did say that you're different than Monomi. Who cares about who I am? More important, I'm tired. The drama just keeps going and going. I didn't even have time to eat my black bean right eye during the, bre during the break. Black bean right at... Okay. 
<laughs> you're right, that is made out of black beans. Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? You know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups, but if life were full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? So in order to help you guys feel better, I prepared a special event. Special event? Head over to the first island's beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Could it be Nekamaru? Is it? It is, isn't it? Nekamaru is safe after all. I'm safe? How should I say this? Hmm. I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nekamaru would come back to us in one piece. Awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. The light of hope. Um, I'm happy Nekamaru has returned to us, but... But I... Three of our friends just died, so I honestly cannot be happy. Hmm. Miss Sonia. However. However. Even so, I'm still happy. If Nekamaru is safe, I'm truly happy. If you're happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Shit? That line doesn't suit you at all. Silence. I shall crush you into dust. Um. Ibuki, Yoko, Mikan, can you hear us? If you're unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nekamaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonia. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's all go greet Nekamaru. Let's make it grand even for those who have died. <laughs> huh? What the heck? Do we still have the after effects of that disease? I don't get this at all. My acne. Alrighty then, let's go. Yeah, you're right. Yay. Nekamaru is coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Man, they just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Jeez, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around till others have finished talking? What's that mean? You, you're plotting something again, aren't you? No way. I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them. Including Nekamaru's body. Hmm? Huh? Nekamaru's body? <laughs> it's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. So if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. You, what did you do to Nekamaru? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him, that's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. So it just couldn't be helped. Uh oh. Since we exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry to the beach on the first island. Right. This whole ass. Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping for anything, we kept right on running toward the beach on the first island. Wait, we're in the world's Nakamaru. Hey. hey, Nakamaru, show yourself. Listen. We have come to pick you up. Please hurry up and come out of hiding. We raised our voices. We looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. And so on and so forth, we kept looking for him. But, hey. what the hell, man? There's nowhere to be found. Yes. Could it be? Did we get false info from Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Could it be? That voice. With high hopes in our hearts, we turned toward the direction of the voice. And then we saw something truly unbelievable. Huh? What the? Yo! I've kept you waiting! Hey! What's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Um, Nikomaru? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! The name is Nekomaru Nijai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! <laughs> That's really bloody creepy. They turned him into a robot and stuffed his mind in it. It's creepy as hell. <laughs> oh, nine days left. Fourteen hours-ish. Bloody hell. Let's 
going down. And that's the end of chapter three. Oh, so much, so much happens in this game. It's so good. But Nekomaru still counts as a living person, even if he's in a robot. Like Monokuma said, and maybe he was telling the truth. It was the only way they could get Nekomaru to live. Is it medicine or social skill? <laughs> this is apron. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, I am sad that two of my favourite characters in the game have gone, and that's Ibuki and uh, Mikan. But having said that, I think they did really well with making Mikan the murderer and how they portrayed her as going really nuts. Is it a lot to do with her remembering disease? Or were there other little symptoms mixed in as well to make her kill? You don't know. It doesn't really expand on it, I don't think. But anyway. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed this chapter, this class trial, this murder, everything. <laughs> I'll see you again in a bit when we make a start on chapter 4. See, <laughs> see what else the game can possibly have for us. In a bit, folks. <laughs>